On similar lines, I think, Mo, have you looked at the data and seen, uh, have you had to go back in and there are some additional novel interventions for uh, endoluminal management of GI bleed, such as the full thickness clip, the over the scope clips. Have you had to go in and, and, and rescue some patients beyond hemospray with those uh, mega mucho clips um, that are now available everywhere and supposed to be uh, you know, the, the solution for all our mankind's problems? Just, just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, in um, so uh, with the evolving of the registry over the years, so obviously you've got your standard uh, uh, therapies, so the mechanical, normal mechanical clips, uh, thermal coagulation. Um, uh, but um, they have so more recently, um, uh, they have really been those uh, patients that we've um, that have had those modalities uh, as as a, a second line or third line if if there was a significant. Uh, rebleed, um, say with with the vescos, but um, the majority uh, of patients just had the standard normal mechanical clips uh, in combination uh, with hemospray or or thermal coagulation or adrenaline. In the vast majority of patients that we have in the data, um, but I suspect going forward that may may change. Um, obviously, with the evolution of all these new uh, technologies that are coming into hemostasis. Right. And I think I obviously there was a kind of a twofold reason why I raised that question is obviously the over the scope clip has a defined role in, in, in massive GI bleeding. Uh, but uh, to kind of juxtapose the impact of hemospray in that realm, uh, your data clearly suggests, and you've shown it in, in, in your abstracts and in, your, in these conversations and others, that uh, with hemospray monotherapy, you were able to control even those spurting bleeders. Uh, for S1As and Bs, uh, that traditionally we would, you know, we would not believe that, especially in the early years, that that was even possible. But you've shown that time and time and time again, and you've shown that with durability of effect. And those are exactly the kind of bleeders that typically one would consider uh, non-traditional treatments, such as the full thickness clip uh, or, or IR interventions and such. Uh, especially when the base is fibrotic and the standard therapy really is not able to 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 take uh, to take that uh, you know to hemostasis. So that was the other reason I said you know we have a, a very powerful uh, agent now that if you have a fibrotic base, a large surface area of a relatively large caliber vessel, um, and and relatively little time and ability to get at it. Uh, the, this is a this is where the conversation turns towards this technology and, and to keep that as part of your armamentarium. So that was the other reason I raised it. 